हेलो चिल्ड्रन दिस इज डे फर्स्ट चैप्टर सिक्स सर्कुलेटरी सिस्टम ऑब्जेक्टिव्स ऑफ द चैप्टर द सर्कुलेटरी सिस्टम इन ह्यूमंस ब्लड ब्लड वेसल्स हार्ट ब्लड ग्रुप्स ब्लड प्रेशर द मेन ऑब्जेक्टिव्स ऑफ टुडेज टॉपिक आर द सर्कुलेटरी सिस्टम इन ह्यूमंस ब्लड ब्लड वेसल्स फंक्शंस ऑफ ब्लड स्टूडेंट्स वी नो दैट all living organisms need food water and oxygen for their survival all these materials need to be transported to all parts of the body various harmful waste products are also produced in the body like carbon dioxide and nitrogenous waste these wastes need to be transported to parts from where they can be removed how is this achieved in the body this is achieved through the circulatory system it transports different materials from one part of the body to another the circulatory system in humans the circulatory system in humans consists of blood blood vessels and heart students kindly open page number 66 let's start reading from book the circulatory system in humans the circulatory system in humans consists of blood blood vessels heart blood blood is fluid connective tissue through which transport of material is done it tastes saltish due to the presence of sodium chloride in it and it is bright red in color an average adult person contains 5 to 6 liter of blood in his body students the color of blood is due to the presence of hemoglobin that is a red color pigment in our blood and its taste is salty due to the presence of sodium chloride in it blood consists of the following plasma it is the liquid part of the blood different types of cells like rbcs wbcs platelets are suspended in the plasma it transports carbon dioxide and many other substances it helps in clotting of blood as it contains clean fibrinogen so students what is blood clotting when a person gets injured blood starts flowing from the cut or wound it is called bleeding after some time the bleeding stops by itself our body prevents the loss of blood by forming a blood clot or we can say that blood clotting is defined as the formation of plug like structure at the site of injury process of blood clotting injury of blood vessels result in bleeding an enzyme is released from the platelets this enzyme help in the production of thrombin thrombin converts soluble fibrinogen into insoluble fibrin this fibrin forms mesh like structure in which rbcs get entangled thus resulting in the formation of clot or plug which prevents blood loss now students open page number 67 blood cells red blood cells rbcs they are also known as erythrocytes they contain a complex chemical compound called hemoglobin now students what is hemoglobin hemoglobin is a red color pigment present in a blood hemoglobin is a protein in red blood cells that transport oxygen and carbon dioxide and gives blood its red color hemoglobin is a red colored pigment it carries oxygen from the lungs to all cells of the body it also carries carbon dioxide produced by the cells during respiration to the lungs red blood cells rbcs they are also called erythrocytes they are small biconcave and disc shaped cells immature rbcs have nucleus but when rbcs mature they lack nucleus that is mature rbcs are denucleated the average life span of rbcs is about 120 days white blood cells they are also called leukocytes they are colorless and irregular shaped cells they have a distinct nucleus they are fewer in number they are bigger in size than the rbcs 
the lifespan of WBCs may be a few hours to several days. The main function of WBC is to protect us against disease-causing microorganisms that enters our body, thus they are called the soldiers of the body. White blood cells. They are further of two types, granulocytes, agranulocytes. Now granulocytes, these WBCs have larger granules in the cytoplasm and have lobed nucleus. These are of three types, neutrophil, eosinophil, basophil. Neutrophil have two to six lobes of the nucleus. Eosinophil have bilobed nucleus. Basophil have bilobed or irregular nucleus. Agranulocytes. These WBCs have no granules in the cytoplasm and are produced in the bone marrow. These are of two kinds, monocytes, lymphocytes. Monocytes which have horseshoe shaped or kidney shaped nucleus. Lymphocytes which have round nucleus. Platelets. They are also called thrombocytes. They are colorless, spherical or irregular shaped cells. They lack nucleus. They are smaller than WBCs and RBCs. They have a lifespan of 8 to 10 days. Platelets play a major role in blood clotting in a cut or wound. The clotting of blood prevents the loss of blood, the entry of germs into the body through cuts or wounds. Now open page number 67, blood vessels. Blood flows in the blood vessels which are of following three types, arteries, veins, capillaries. Blood vessels are long and thin tubes through which the blood flows. There are three types of blood vessels, arteries, veins and capillaries. Let's discuss in more detail arteries and veins. Arteries are the blood vessels that carry blood from the heart to the various body parts. Veins are the blood vessels that carry blood from the various body parts to the heart. All arteries carry oxygenated blood except pulmonary artery. All veins carry deoxygenated blood except pulmonary vein. Arteries, they are deeply seated. Veins, they are present just below the skin. Arteries, they are thick walled. Veins, they are thin walled. Arteries, valves are absent. Veins, valves are present. Arteries, they are red in color due to oxygenated blood in them. Veins, they look greenish blue due to deoxygenated blood in them. Valves inside veins. Blood in the vein is at much lower pressure than in the artery. One way valves inside the veins prevent blood from flowing backward. The force of the heartbeat keeps blood flowing away from the heart through the arteries. So there is no need for valves inside them. Capillaries. Capillaries are extremely thin blood vessels. They connect the arteries to the veins. Their walls have a single layer of cells. The thin walls help in the exchange of materials between blood and the body cells. Unique role of capillaries. As blood flows along the capillaries, the oxygen and other useful substances diffuse out to the surrounding cells and waste materials like carbon dioxide diffuse into the blood making it deoxygenated. In this way, the capillaries keep our tissues in a healthy state. The capillaries are extremely numerous and every organ contains thousands of capillaries. Functions of blood. Blood is a liquid connective tissue performing the following functions. Blood carries oxygen from the lungs to different parts of the body and removes carbon dioxide from the body cells. Blood carries digested food from intestine to all parts of the body. Blood contains WBCs which protect the body from diseases. Blood carries hormones from the endocrine glands to different organs of the body. Blood carries a waste product called urea from the liver to the kidneys for excretion in the form of urine. Blood regulates body temperature. Blood contains platelets which form a clot around wound 
thus preventing blood loss. Students, you must be able to give the answers of following questions. What is blood? Describe the various components of blood. What is the composition of blood? Write down the important functions of the blood. Define vein. Write down the important differences between arteries and veins.